Gives the anemone both, me and her. I snoozed a little too. I started closing my eyes, waiting for her to fall asleep. I spoiled her. I picked her up from the crib and she went and crept down for a nap. And we all fell asleep on the couch. I said, no, I'm going to put you down. My arm's getting tired. Yeah. <laughs> and he was asleep right next to me. He was so pleased mom. Mom and dad again. Come here, Emmy. Emmy, go up. Give me. We have a little surprise for you. A big surprise. A big surprise and, and another surprise. What is this? Sneaking up on you and kissing you on the back of the neck. Mommy was sitting there, <laughs> sitting there with Emily. I was just getting out of the shower. Maria says, stay there, she's here. I said, I'm going to take a really quick shower. And that's what it was. And it was. It was very she quick. got wet. And it was very quick. quick. <laughs> and then she snuck up behind her. her. Yes. Yeah, and Emma just her. looks at her like, it was great. Hey, Dad. Cool, like, she was oh, just like, kissing me. What did you say, Mommy? I didn't hear Where's what you John? said. Where's John? over here very much. He can't hear one for the summer. I'm recording you. That's right. Go. That's a cute touch. Oh my god. You go to the tree. Three. Oh, it's a seven hundred dollar camera I got for three hundred because I sell them. No, she's asleep. You picked me book because it was discontinued. Oh yeah, good deal, huh? Not as long as she should. Yeah, it was good. I had that's a good name. Too. Yeah. All three of us. I said, now I was going to never had one of these before. I never had one before. No, never had a camera. Never had a camera. Well, moving. It was like my arm. Video camera. Yeah, yeah. What was your other nickname, Dad? Huh? What was your other nickname? When I was very, very small, until I was uh, 13, 14 or more. Baggy. Baggy. B a g g i. Baggy. Baggy. What does baggy mean? That comes from Bartnil, which is a baby. Bartnil is a is a, is a child. Well, goodness, goodness, um, when he, which kid, which kid was it, uh, called him Bati? And then I decided huh? I wanted to do some language. The youngest, but um, kind of he was the, yeah, he was the youngest. Goodness, youngest? Bati. Goodness, youngest boy? Your brother, Gunnar. Yes. His youngest, the youngest, his youngest boy. When he was a baby and I was an ice and we called him Bati. I said, you know, I really we all called him Bhakti. Bhakti? Yeah. yeah. They said it was nonsense. They said it didn't mean anything. Bhakti yeah. doesn't mean anything. It's just a. So when I rolled it, the all the things start now.
like five down. I like having one really tall and one down. Church in Corvallis, Good Samaritan. That little church is now an art museum. A little timber church in a university university town. Um, when I married Hald, or when I met him, I my best friends were foreigners, aliens. <laughs> and I think you might know that I like people who are different and. Uh, <laughs> And I'm adventurous, and I felt I was willing to take a chance on someone from another country, from Iceland. Um, <clears throat> at one point, my father, I had been dating a football player, and he no longer saw this football player. And Daddy knew that he was a wolf, that's what we called him in those days. <laughs> and, and occasionally I would stop going with Les because he got fresh. So after I had dated Haldor for several months, seriously, Daddy said, well, whatever happened to Les? Because I think Daddy knew that I was getting serious. <laughs> so um, the reason we got married was because I was giving my mother a permanent one day. Haldor and I had been dating for about two years at this point. We weren't engaged. And my mother said to me, <laughs> Marilyn, don't you think how you and Haldor should get married? So you could say it was a shotgun wedding. <laughs> uh, but you mustn't forget that this was the 50s. Uh, when we left church, we got into the decorated car and we were chased out of town. And we went to the Maldoma Hotel in Portland, Oregon and had dinner. But we couldn't afford a room. <laughs> We went all up the road to the Sunnyside Motel <laughs> and headed on up to British Columbia. And then um, nine months to the day, our oldest daughter, Country, was born. <laughs> so I guess you could get in the shotgun room. Um, marrying someone from another country, I did know that I was committed to living in his country for at least five years. Iceland is a very wise nation. 
uh, they're very um, proud. And they've taken in displaced persons, uh, taken them under, them, into, under themselves. And in the beginning, they were uh, refugees from communist country. I think it was Czechoslovakia. The only requirement was they had to take Icelandic names. So they were willing to do that, these immigrants, these refugees. Um, living in Iceland for five years was another world, and I was extremely fortunate to <clears throat> enjoy the love of Haldor's family. They were a cosmopolitan family, educated abroad, and <clears throat> he was one of four. And I was, <laughs> carry it a little further, uh, I became Icelandicized by living in a village of 300 people for three years. We didn't see the sun for three months of the year. And when the sun came up over the mountains every year, we had a sun coffee. And it was a wild time down the meeting house. Uh, <laughs> and it was Haldor who wanted to come back to this country for the job opportunities, and he loved this country. So after five years, his commitment, his government paid for part of his education in this country, but he had to serve five years in his own country. So we came back and Haldor took various jobs. One was for his alma mater. He worked for several food processing companies and ended up uh, buying seafood. He ended up in the business side of it instead of the scientific. And many moves later, we were in New England for 25 years. So. We do feel like New Englanders, and most of our children live in New England. And <clears throat> we made our way to Florida, where I was born, and uh, came over from Sarasota to live here in Palm Beach County to be close to Ricky and Halpin and Jason and Maria. And we truly do have a home here to the extent of all of you you're a part of our family, and it's like you're a part of my world, and I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. I says, well, just tell me what to do. So uh, I told Maria, and she says, oh, great. You know, she just loved it. She, she took the ball and ran along with, with Katrin and, and my other sisters, and... Uh, and uh, it was, it's, I, I, I am just so happy that my brother and my sisters made it down here. It's just a wonderful thing. I want to thank everybody for showing up. And I also want to thank Margaret Robeson for helping out today. I had to work today and Margaret helped my wife and sisters and brother set this whole thing up. So uh, again, enjoy the night. Thank you so much. Say hi, Abby. Hi, Abby. Hi, Abby. Ha, 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 ha.
with the, like, the more right on. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Wiggle your ears! Wiggle your ears! <laughs> <laughs> he used to always do that to me. 